Hello everyone, Immortal Line here. Welcome back to another video on our channel. Today, we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always, we have special tributes images in our today's most important headline section. But before we proceed, we'd greatly appreciate your support. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. Thank you. Diğer yanımda. İnanılmaz bir gün batımı. Woohoo! Number 5. Turkish basketball star Ilkan Karaman tragically passed away on September 8, 2024. Born on May 13, 1990, Karaman made a name for himself with his athleticism and court vision. He played for prominent Turkish clubs like Besiktas, Fenerbahce and Karsiyaka, and also had a stint in European basketball. Drafted by the Brooklyn Nets in the 2012 NBA draft, he never made it to the NBA but remained a celebrated figure in Turkish basketball. Known for his elegant play, Karaman captured the hearts of fans everywhere. Karaman had an impressive career in Europe and also made significant contributions to the Turkish national team, representing his country in Eurobasket 2013. His towering presence and athleticism made him a force to be reckoned with on the court, and he was beloved by basketball fans across the globe. Sadly, on September 8, 2024, Karaman's life was cut short in a tragic traffic accident in Dhaka, Turkey. He was only 34 years old. Though he never fulfilled his NBA dream, Karaman's energy, dedication, and skill left an indelible mark on the basketball world. His legacy will forever be remembered as one of Turkey's most talented basketball players, and his memory will live on through the impact he had on and off the court. Number 4. Herbie Flowers, specializing in bass guitar, double bass, and tuba. Flowers was a key member of renowned groups like T, Rex, Blue Mink, and Sky. However, he gained widespread fame as a studio musician, working with music legends like Elton John, David Bowie, Lou Reed, and Paul McCartney. His most iconic contribution is the unforgettable bass line in Lou Reed's Walk on the Wild Side. Throughout his career, Flowers played on over 500 hit songs, making him one of the most respected musicians in the UK. Another memorable moment in his career was the double-layered bass line in David Essex's hit Rock on 1973, earning him a humorous 24 pounds for the job. Herbie Flowers, a legendary English musician, passed away on September 5, 2024, at the age of 86. Flowers became a key figure not only in British music but globally through his collaborations with some of the greatest names in pop and rock. Born on May 19, 1938, in Isleworth, Middlesex, Herbie Flowers left an indelible mark on the music world, contributing timeless music across decades. Number 3. DeAndre Overton, a rising star in American football, tragically passed away at the young age of 26. Known for his exceptional performance with the Clemson Tigers, Overton made a significant mark in the professional scene, playing for teams such as the Hamilton Tiger Cats, Vienna Vikings, Philadelphia Stars, Pittsburgh Maulers, and Memphis Showboats. However, his promising future was cut short when he was shot and killed at a party in Greensboro on September 7, 2024. The sports world mourns the loss of this young talent. Born on April 19, 1998, in Greensboro, North Carolina, Overton quickly rose through the ranks with his impressive skills. From his college days at Clemson, where his speed and agility wowed fans, to his professional career, he captivated audiences with his thrilling performances on the field. Sadly, his bright career ended too soon due to this tragic event, but his legacy will live on through the memories of his stellar plays 
and the impact he made in the football world. Number 2. Carol Dawson, a monumental figure in the world of basketball, passed away on September 9, 2024, at the age of 86. Best known for his pivotal role as the Houston Rockets assistant coach and later, general manager, Dawson's career spanned 27 iconic years. Under his leadership, the Rockets captured two NBA championships in the 1990s, most notably in 1994 and 1995, with legends like Clyde Drexler and Hakeem Olajuwon dominating the court. Dawson was not just a strategist but a mentor who formed deep connections with players, helping them flourish. Beyond his championships, Dawson's career impacted countless NBA stars, shaping their skills and guiding them to greatness. Even after retiring in 2007, his influence on the game endured, and he remained a beloved figure within the Rockets organization. Carol Dawson's legacy is more than just titles. It's the passion for the game and the countless lives he touched throughout his career. His contributions to basketball will forever be remembered, and the Rockets family will continue to honor his memory. And I am um, standing here in front of my mother and my daughter. And my whole life I've wanted to make my mother proud. Number one. Nicole Kidman has announced the passing of her beloved mother, Janelle Kidman, at the age of 84. The famous Australian actress was in Venice, Italy, to attend the city's renowned film festival, where she was set to receive the Best Actress Award for her new film Baby Girl. However, before she could accept the award, she received the devastating news of her mother's death. The cause of Janelle Kidman's death has not yet been revealed, though she was hospitalized in Sydney in 2016 due to heart issues. Nicole has always been known for her close relationship with her mother, Janelle, and her sister, Australian journalist Antonia Kidman. The family had already suffered the loss of their father, Tony Kidman, in 2014, and now, Nicole faces another heartbreaking loss. At 57, the Oscar-winning actress was forced to leave the Venice Film Festival early after hearing about her mother's passing. In her absence, Baby Girl's director, Helena Rain, accepted the Best Actress Award on Nicole's behalf. Rain read a heartfelt statement from Nicole on stage. Today, I arrived in Venice only to learn shortly after that my beautiful, brave mother, Janelle and Kidman, has just passed away. I'm in shock, and I need to be with my family, but this award is for her. She shaped me, guided me, and made me who I am. In 2020, Nicole opened up about her relationship with her mother in an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald, expressing how much her mother's support meant to her throughout her Hollywood career. She's given me the fire to pursue the career I have because I've always wanted to make her proud, Nicole shared. But she also carved her own path and wanted her daughters to have the same opportunity to carve their own paths. 